to stop to, to stop the illegal flow of guns on our street. We're not of human life. And so we are, we are working to certainly ban assault weapons. Mother's Day, whose son was a victim of an illegal gun. My name is Movita Johnson Harrell. I'm a mother, I'm a social worker, I'm a grandmother. On January the 13th of 2011, my life was changed forever. On January 15th of 2008, I left Philadelphia to get away from the gun culture in the city. and what is good for the country and we have to stay on 
things to me. And what he says is, does it matter to you? Is it important to you? And I say yes. And he says, then get after it. So I'm going to put it out to you. Is this important to you?
make you proud because I want to make a difference so nobody else has to suffer like you have. Joe. Joe Davis. Hi, Joe. I am a social worker. Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. I take care of kids, like adults, you, Thank you, Joe. Thank grandmothers, you. grandfathers Thank you. who have been shot by these awful, awful weapons. Thank you, Joe. I want to talk to you for a second. Where were their parents? I want to talk to you for a second. I was, I was, were their I want to tell you a little something. Where were their parents? Tell us, Joe. I want to talk to you about the God I know. Tell us, Joe. Jesus was from some Barry. Is that Barry? The God I know yes. loves the loud person who's rude and, created. and won't yes. allow other people to speak. Read your passport. Read your passport. The God I know. Yeah, gave you liberty. The God I know is not angry with me because I choose a different path. The God I know. The God I know is the same God that loves you out there. Amen. Gave us liberty. Yes. Gave us liberty. Same one that wants us to So I want you to understand this. Gave us the Bill of Rights. Same one that inspired the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. The same people out here in the in this audience. The same people out here in this audience. Why did George? If and when. God forbid something should happen to one of your children. Yeah. We'll be there to protect them. I'll, I'll be on the front line. I'll be on the front line to help save your child's life. We are not. We are not trying. We are not trying to take away your right to own a weapon. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. We are not I would bet, I would bet my life that none of you have read the bill. I would bet none of you in the audience have read the bill. Did you read the Constitution? See, because what I've, what I've learned over the years, and I've been fighting this battle for a long, long time, but I've learned over the years that ignorance is bliss. And as long as you keep your ears closed, as long as you keep your ears closed and you don't listen, most of you are followers. You're not leaders, you're followers. You follow what somebody else tells you to do. You will follow them, you will follow them to hell just because somebody told you to do so. That makes you ignorant. I don't get it. My name is Joe Davis. I love God and I love you too. Amen. Universal background checks are not going to stop you from getting your guns. Universal background checks are just going to stop the wackos, the wackos further on. Some of y'all got in already. But I'm going to do that. It's going to stop you from getting the mentally ill. So before you go, before you go to the next gun rally, read the bill. Read the bill. Read the bill. Thank you, Joe. Uh, just a brief history.
lesson. The founders, the creators of the Constitution, were absolutely, absolutely emphatic about separating church and state. So, yes, they were. They were absolutely emphatic about the separation of church and state. I just wanted to just give you a quick history lesson. Uh, another victim of gun violence, former Tollytown Mayor Joe Downey, would like to speak. Ladies and gentlemen, listen, listen, please listen to me. I'm, I'm asking you, and, and if you'll talk to the NRA supporters and followers, they saw me at Love Park, and they know where I come from. I come from this area. You couldn't get more redneck than I am. Bottom line, I'm just being honest with you. I understand everyone's plight out there. What I'm asking you to do right now, if you'll do this in a name, if you do this in the name of our country, which we all, we all love, we may look at it in different ways right now on one issue, but we love this country, and I do too. Can you all put your on both sides? Can you put the signs down for one minute, please? I'm begging you. Please. Okay, thank you. Now, I respect that. I do. Thank you so much, sir. Listen to me. I never thought I would be up here talking to you. I never thought that I would, I'm sorry, ever have to go through this. Thank you for respecting me because I do respect you too. I never thought that I would ever have to ever go through what I'm going through in the last several months. My son was gunned down wrongfully, wrongfully. And guess what? I come from a family, please listen to me. Listen to me, I come from a family of gun owners. Bottom line is, is that my son was hit from behind. It was the wrong car, the wrong people would have never known it was coming. AK-47, totally destroyed car, a friend that he had given a ride home to. So here's what I'm asking you to do. There's no doubt, no, no, we actually agree with each other. And you don't, you're not even listening to what's happening in this crowd. We actually agree. And here's where we agree, and we gotta find common ground. Let's face it, our country right now is at a crossroads of finding common ground. And we've gotta find it, you're right, you're right. But listen to me, wait. Please listen to me. The common ground is that we all agree there's gun violence out in the streets. Some of you supporters of, of guns in NRA do say that yes, carry a gun. This is going to stop it. We're saying let's do this in a peaceful way. Let's check background checks for people so we don't put... Listen, please. But the bottom line is all those kids in Philadelphia, all those kids in Bucks County, all those kids in Trenton, all these mothers, my family, we were shot too. We are the living dead. You must realize that all those kids that were killed don't wear an NRA t-shirt. They don't wear a Coalition for Peace t-shirt. They don't wear a Republican t-shirt. And they don't wear a Democratic t-shirt. They were innocent bystanders of bullets going through yards of hating no good criminals, which we all agree we don't want in our streets. So we do have common ground. Please, I beg of you, think of that. Think of all of what I just said right now. I love all you guys. I don't care what side of the fence you are. I'm begging you, just please think and find common ground. There is. Let's just find it. Thank you so much.